Hey YouTube and welcome to today's video. So if you've seen yesterday's vlog, you know that I watched two movies yesterday. Now what I didn't really touch on yesterday and I want to talk about a little more today is the fact that um, I went to a different theater yesterday than the ones I normally frequent. Now there are four different movie theaters in the city. Uh, three of which are basically from, well actually no, they're all owned sort of by the same chain, but three of them are, you know, regular run-of-the-mill movie theaters as you find, I'm guessing, worldwide or, you know, something like that. Um, with no, actually two exceptions, there is one of the theaters that only has one big like um room to call it that um but that one room sits about 400 people or seats about 400 people rather and they use that mainly for the blockbusters things like for example guardians of the galaxy volume 2 we saw that one there um i know that they also premiered fast and furious 8 in that movie theater things like that so that is the big one for you know the big ticket movies the blockbusters now there is this fourth one and unlike the others which are all called SFBO and then the location where you can find them this one is called um, Biograf Spiegel which basically means you know movie theater the mirror if I translate that correctly I think I did um, and this one is quite different. There are, if I saw correctly, three rooms in there. Two of them are run-of-the-mill sort of movie theaters, except for the fact that I noticed that there are no cup holders on your seat. Now, in Belgium and Sweden, and from what I've seen in America, it is very common to have like a cup holder on your seat in a movie theater, so you can put your drink somewhere. Now, Biograf Spiegel is a little bit special when it comes to all of that because while they do sell popcorn, it is not your regular run-of-the-mill popcorn. It is freshly popped, buttered, salted popcorn. It's really delicious, but it was a bit tad salty for my taste. They also have um, something that is called Lakritz popcorn which is basically a popcorn with a coating of black licorice, which I did not try. While I am a fan of licorice, I, yeah, um, I just, it, it just didn't speak to me because it, I mean, the popcorn does look kind of black and that really didn't seem appealing to me. But they also don't sell like the fountain drinks. They have drinks, you know, in glass bottles, like the old timey movie theaters. And this is where it gets very interesting, or at least I thought so. The theater or the room in which I saw the last movie only has a capacity of 25 people. Now there is a reason for this. When you enter the room, it sort of looks like those nightclubs from the roaring 20s and 30s. You know, you have a small table in the middle which is attached for you know, safety reasons to the armrest of the seats. The seats are big and green and plush. If you're on my Instagram or Twitter, you saw the picture I tweeted yesterday. And that was the picture of my seat. And here is the really cool thing. This is a movie theater that has a warm kitchen and you can order food. If you do that, um, well, there is a time cut off. You have to have ordered food at least 20 minutes for, before the movie starts and they will serve you warm food you know right before the movie starts when you take your seat in the theater or in the room there is your food there is water that you can just take to drink there is bread butter cutlery all that you need pepper salt and you can order drinks and yes those drinks even include alcohol which is kind of a rarity for Sweden which actually brings me to my next point, as of next weekend, I will be starting a new series of vlogs on this channel. 
in which I will talk about more about things that I have found to be typically Swedish. So see what I did there? I snuck in a big announcement in at the end to make you keep watching. I'm sorry, I'm sneaky. Um, anyway, um, the movie theater, I, I really loved it. Just you know, I ordered something that was called Boeuf Lyonnaise, which is sort of a petit panna, which is like, um, this one was made of a sort of a, a brisket with potatoes and onions and capers and mustard. And it had this like, it was served with this like sort of dipping sauce made of sour cream and more capers and tap more mustard and things like that. It was very, very yummy. Um, and it definitely has something special to sit there in a small room in this big plush seat eating a warm meal while watching a movie. Um, yeah, there's definitely something to be said for that. And I think that uh, my husband and I are going to have one of our next date nights there if they are showing a movie that we both want to see. That's going to do it for me today. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful Monday and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.